How's it going everybody? My name is Mike MJB or whatever you guys want to call me coming at you guys with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video here on Tasty's channel and the gameplay you guys are going to be watching today is an insane nuclear on the new DLC map knockout by the one and only Tasty himself and he's just going ham with a man of war playing some domination. Tasty is an absolute monster, trust me, you guys will not want to miss an upload on this channel. Definitely, definitely be sure to subscribe so you can go to the sub box and see whenever Tasty uploads as well as receive those notifications. Now guys, if you do enjoy my voice for some reason at all, feel free to come over to my channel and leave a subscription as well, that would mean so much to me. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the new Black Ops 3 DLC. There were four maps that came to the new DLC, and guys, this DLC could not have dropped at a better time. I know so many people were getting sick of Black Ops 3, and they were kind of moving towards the multi-COD scene again. And I really don't want to see that, because Black Ops 3 is probably the best Call of Duty that we have seen in a long time. They are doing constant updates, they are nerfing the weapons that are overpowered, they are making weapons better that are underpowered. And guys, really, they are just listening to what we want to see in a game. So, like I said, there were four maps that were released. They are Spire, Knockout, Rift, and Verge. Now, we are going to be breaking down each map section by section just to give you guys a little overview of what the maps are like. Now, if you guys didn't know, Spire is kind of like a skyjack almost. It's up in space, and it does actually have a really good lane structure. You know, there's kind of like the middle area where everybody goes, but then they also have the sides where there's some action. And it's a two-story map that I really do like. It's pretty open, so you can kind of see where the enemies are across the map. And I really do think it is a good map that a lot of people really enjoy. Knockout is kind of like the courtyard of World at War. And guys, I absolutely loved World at War. So anything to do with World at War or like the feel of it, I am super happy about it. It kind of seems like a little Chinese town almost, how you have those little Chinese statues and all the cool statues and everything. So I really do like Knockout and just the overall feel of the map. It is super good. There's a courtyard in the middle and it's just super fun to play. Rift is kind of like a new town. It's a very small map where everything happens in the middle. You have the two lanes on the side, but like I said, the majority of the action is seen right in the middle and it's super small, so you kind of know where everybody's going to be on the map and I really do like that. And then you have Verge, guys, I'm not going to lie, this map is absolutely horrible. This is probably the worst map in Call of Duty history. There is absolutely no lane structure to it, it's just a bunch of tunnels running up and down the map. It's a two story map and there's tunnels all over, I think there's like four or five different routes in each tunnel and it is just absolutely insane there is no structure to it and there is no flow so with that said guys they did incorporate some new updates recently as well they have the vesper which got buffed and i am super happy about that because that is a gun that needed to get buffed it was so bad if you guys remember the vesper was probably the best gun to start the game and then they really nerfed it to the point where nobody could really use it anymore. It was a gun that, you know, you had to be like five feet away from a person and you still wouldn't even win all of the gunfights. But with this buff, it gives it a little more stability, which is good. So if you guys throw grip on it, throw a long barrel, and throw either fast mags or extended mags, you guys are going to be able to run around the map with this gun. And you're going to be able to basically hit fire, do whatever you want, and you're actually going to be able to win some gun battles, which is really good because it just gives a little more variety to the game. And that is something that we want to see. That is something that I know a lot of YouTubers want and a lot of people who are playing the game really want to see, you know, a lot of variety because that's what keeps the game successful. If you think about it, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1. Modern Warfare 3, all of those games had a lot of variety, but going back to like Call of Duty Ghosts and Advanced Warfare, those games really did lack a lot of variety, you know, should they threw in the supply drops, but at the same time, the supply drops were really, they didn't have any of the new weapons, kind of, and it just, I don't know, it really did lack variety, so I really do think that Treyarch is doing a really good job listening to us and just kind of adapting to what we want to see in the game, and that's what I, honestly, that's what I think makes the game successful, so let me know your guys' opinions in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Tasty's channel as well as come over to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. As always, this has been your boy Mike MJB. We'll talk to you later. Peace.